Another edition of the Return of the Rock. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Look what we found. We found the kitty folks. How are you? Excellent. We're doing great. Okay, everybody's going to talk at one time. So, who's yes. going to be the designator talker for designated talker? I think they're pointing at me. Right. Lee yeah. Singer syndrome. Mm. They, they make you talk. Yeah. yeah. You know what? You also talk. How, how did you guys meet up? It's, uh, we want to know exactly from beginning to now. Well, we began on a sunny day in, uh, in 96. Me and her met in a gymnastics class. And, uh, That's so cute. How old were you? Uh, yeah, two. <laughs> two I, I was six. <laughs> two going on 40. Wow. Um, and I just got my guitar. She just got in her drums and just, you know, played like little cover songs in her basement. Right. Then Lauren came getting... down and then blah, blah, blah. That's when, uh, when I joined, we eventually started uh, writing some tunes that we actually have on the album because some of the songs are pretty old. What were some of the first covers that you did? Um, <laughs> I think a lot of it was just radio stuff, just stuff that was easily accessible right. and stuff that, you know, we thought was, um, you know, it was difficult for us so we could, you know, test out our abilities and stuff. <laughs> just a lot of radio stuff, you know, we did some Nirvana and sure, oh. some Soundgarden, some Little yeah. Violet. Stuff like that? Yeah. Scott <laughs> <laughs> You met Scott Wilding yet? No. He's out, you know. Really? Watch out for him. He's uh -oh. dangerous. Oh, well, yeah. I love Stone Temple Pilots. All right, all right. So go to a video right now, Cypress Hill. You like Cypress Hill? Yeah. yeah. So you want to be a rock superstar. Go to the video. Cypress Hill. Yeah. Welcome back to Turn of the Rock. Kitty, 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 kitty girls. Oh, my kitty girls. Mm -hmm. It's cool, right? Kitty girls, I <laughs> kitty can girls. think of kitty girls. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, Tunzo Touring. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Out with, uh, you, out with Slipknot. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Those guys are crazy. Yeah, I, I know. I, 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 I know. They were here. And I, they about beat me up. It was bad. Yeah. It was very bad. What's, uh, the, what's the craziest thing that happened to you on the Slipknot tour? <laughs> the fact that you were out with Slipknot was yeah. Yeah. yeah, every day. Every day is an adventure. With really? Them, you know, they put on an excellent show, but they're also, you know, they're kind of wacky. Yeah. yeah. You think? Yeah. <laughs> like a little bit? Yeah. <laughs> Guys are they're, they're out of their minds, but uh, the record company they're sending me out doing all these uh, radio shows. You did the uh, K Rock New York show last yeah. week. That was a lot of fun with System of a Down. That yeah, was really nice. exactly. That was uh, it was a good time. Um, you, you like doing all these radio shows? You like doing yeah, shows? It's fun. Just, you get to you get to see like uh, the bands that we like and stuff like that. You get to you know talk to people that we've met before and you know re reuniting with people. Yeah. And playing live is the most important part. You know, it's a chance for you to express yourself to your fans. You know, have them interact with you as well so it's the best part of being in a band huh you guys pulled it off well. It was a nice show. I Thank really you enjoyed very it. Much. Thought it was nice. So do a uh, video right now from Methods of Mayhem. It's the latest. It's called New Skin. Back with Kitty Booker and um, you guys should be grounded. The titles <laughs> on your record. I mean, come on, spit. Yeah. Joke? Do you think I'm a whore? What? What's no. going on? No, you, it, but see, that's what we wanted you people to think, you know? Yeah. See, say, for instance, with the song, Do You Think I'm a Whore? The song is about perception. It's about, you know, looking at something and having a preconceived idea and not actually digging deep into the substance of, you know, what it's all about. It's like, don't judge a book by its cover. Well, I'm very shallow. So, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so, you know, Sepulchre has a song called Choke, so I would see them asking him if this song has any sort of, you know, If they were here right now, I would. Because I'm very shallow once again. <laughs> Let's go back to the point. Well, but you but uh, good, good stuff. But actually, do your folks, you know, give you any flack? Uh, I heard a couple of choice words on stage out of your mouth. Yes, I know. You know what? Um, all of our parents, they've been supportive of us 100%. You know, from day one, they just basically they stand back and say, "This is your deal. You guys can do what you want. You know, this is your band, and you know, we support you with that, whatever you do." And it's great that way. Very cool. Well, we enjoy playing your video, and we seem to play it a ton. You're on constantly. Is it cool seeing yourself on MTV? I have oh, no I've never yeah. seen you. You haven't? No. Are you serious? You're, you're gonna watch it. We don't get what? MTV what? up there. Yeah, they, they got a bad MTV up there. It's, it's horrible. But uh, right now, let's uh, let's play a kitty. Here it is, bracket. Yet 
another shiny edition of the Return of the Rock. Chris Ooh. Booker with Kitty. I told you they'd be back. Again. They're back. We're back. We came close. Away from us. Out Definitely. on the road, they're touring at Ozfest this summer. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. We were the first band confirmed. That's really? Ozzy. Well, you know. Well, of course, because it's his fest. <laughs> and it's his name and everything. Yeah. You know. I but think you can beat up some of the bands that are playing. <laughs> oh, I mean, look at the guns on her. Yeah. I mean, love the guns I'm, contest. Look at that. They should arm wrestle. Look bigger guns than me. <laughs> I don't even have guns. She does the, like, the drum She's the drummer, going. the primal. The, the primal beating thing. Yeah. Uh, who else have you been out with? You're out with Slipknot? Um, seven we've been out with Seven Dogs. Um, Lift, right. We were thinking <laughs> it over. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, right. We, we played. Uh, we played with Downset. We played with Biohazard. We've done lots of shows, and you know, we're just getting lots, lots of tracks under our belt. Right? Yep. Do you learn a lot from these bands? Yeah, definitely. You know, it's it's great to see that you know all these bands are really down to earth. You know, we all look up to them and stuff. But it's sure. great to be able to play with them and just kind of be on the same level. With them. The harder scene, everyone gets the perception that everyone's mean and angry. Oh no! And usually, they're the nicest rock stars out of everyone. Yeah. They're just either everyone's really happy to be on. TV or radio. Yeah, Everyone's definitely. really sweet with it. You guys are the same. Thank you. Aww, don't thank beat you. me up. No, we won't. Oh, don't worry. No. Later. Watch right. your video from Cord right now. Make me bad. Back with Kitty. I'm Booker, and uh, let's talk about some of your favorite. Uh, music type folks, uh, maybe your influences. We listen to a lot of different bands. We'll listen to like a lot of non like pop, like um, Dead Sea and more well, like than pop, but um, like placebo and bands like that. And then on the other spectrum, we'll listen to like death metal. So it's right. kind of, and then we'll listen to like 80s metal, like ACDC and like um, Van Halen, which yeah. is Yeah, yeah that's the stuff that we grew up with too. So I think that. That, that type of music, like, you know, Led Zeppelin, ACDC, Kiss, and all that stuff, it kind of formed our interest in music. Right. Really, because that's the stuff, you know, back in the day when we were listening to when we were very young. Yeah. You cover Pink Floyd. I yeah, definitely. Last week at our that's show. another one. Yeah, it, that was, we had this opportunity to, you know, cover the song. It was going to be for our tribute album, and uh, it actually went in the can, I guess. But uh, we still have the song, and it's, it's, people are raving about it. They say it's really good, so I'm happy. Very cool. Very cool. What should I like? What about you? I like Depeche Mode. Yeah? There's nothing wrong with that. Stay proud. Know. David Hyde. Come on. Gary Newman. Gary Newman. Everybody go. makes fun of me, but I love it. I like pop so music. I do. I like all kinds of music. I think to be a music fan, you have to be very rounded and you have to like exactly. everything. Okay. You know what I mean? The really good like, bands that I listen to are like Finger Eleven. Yeah, I like Finger Eleven. Papa Roach for amazing. They're a great band. I saw them playing. Uh, San Francisco a couple weeks back. Yeah. from the area. Great band. Let's uh, go to a live performance right now. This was actually taped at MTV on uh, at MTV Week a couple weeks back. It's Back in Black. Here they were like, we heard you were bagging on us on the radio last night. I'm like, first of all, I would never bag on anybody. Yeah. I have to interview the next day. I would at least like wait till tomorrow or something yeah. if I was gonna bag on you, but I wouldn't. But they like the fans really keep yeah, you in the definitely. loop. Yeah, definitely. I'm I personally am very actively involved in the website thing. Um, before um, the album came out in January, I actually ran the official website. Um, so I, you know, have a lot of uh, interest in the internet or whatever, and usually, you know, I let the webmaster know what we want, you know, what kind of things we should be doing, you know, set up and whatnot, right. and then they do that for me because, you know, I have to be on tour and right. do all this kind of stuff and talk to all the fans and stuff, so. What other uh, stuff are you planning on putting out for the Kitty fans? Ooh, well, yeah. oh, home video. Yeah. yeah, we've been doing lots and lots of footage um, of all our concerts, you know, backstage stuff, you know, just talking to fans, hanging out with other bands and stuff, and I think that will probably, uh, um, be released uh, probably to coincide with Oz Fest, you know, just for the first kind of uh, six months of our touring. Very cool. Yeah. Something to look forward to. Yeah. Uh, something to look forward to for you there at home. A video from a band called Chevelle. I like these guys a lot. This is point number one. Yeah, cool. Chris Booker bidding farewell to Kitty. Bye, au revoir. It's sad. Hey, it's Mr. Rogers. <laughs> now it's time. Say hey, goodbye. goodbye. I don't know the rest of it. <laughs> Me neither. <Yeah. laughs> now we're going to go and kick his butt. Yeah, really. Okay, I could have wore a little Mr. Rogers sweater, but thank you for watching Return of the Rock. We'll see you guys again soon. Good luck with your touring. Thank blah, you blah, very blah, much. blah, blah, yeah. blah, 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 blah. We'll be back.
There you go. Uh, MTV.com, any information on Kitty, any information on any of the videos we play, anything you would like, it's all there for you. We'll see you back tomorrow, 11 a.m. for Return of the Rock. Chris Booker, take care. Thank you very much. Bye. <laughs>